Welcome back to another video. Yeah, don't adjust your screens. I'm on a different camera. I uh, was playing with my new YouTube studio, trying to get that ready at the house over the weekend, over the holiday, and I left my camera there. So where I am now making this video, I don't have that camera. I had to borrow one, and it is straight quality, as you can tell. I also have realizing that something happened to my audio settings while doing all this. I try to adjust them on the fly so I don't get this video done way too late. And I'm sure it does not sound like it normally does. So I apologize for both of those. So with that, this won't be a super duper long video like y'all are used to. I'll try to skim over some more of the important stuff and we'll see how that, how that happens. And usually when I say that, it doesn't happen. So let's get to it. Well, hopefully everybody got through with their July 4th weekend, four day weekend, whatever it was for some of y'all. I know some people probably took longer off um, and we ready to get back to it. Crypto has been kind of crazy. I'll be honest with you. Not them getting really burnt out. I don't want nobody to say that and unsubscribe or anything like that. But I have been so overwhelmed with putting up wingbit stations, driving all over the state to put up wingbit station. I've been in the discord constantly. On top of my real work I'm supposed to be doing, on top of my side business, I was getting, I don't want to say burnt out, how about worn out? Pulled out the ham radio. I have not played with ham radio in probably three years. They have a 13 colonies contest. If you saw my video yesterday on my Sunday driving video, I discussed a little bit. But honestly, it was, I guess I can call it old school, but I haven't, I, I enjoy HF ham radio because you can talk to, my son actually, for the first time really, got interested in wanting to watch me do it. I've been trying to get him interested in it for years. And he wanted to sit there. And the fact that I was talking to people in Australia in different places, five, six, 7,000 miles, 8,000 miles around the world, he was just bewildered by it. And it was a cool kind of week weekend project to do. He helped me put up an, a ham radio antenna in the backyard. So it was cool to kind of detox a little bit away from this crypto stuff. I really didn't get into to, to, to the Discord. So if anybody was trying to hit me up on that, I apologize. I did catch up with some people today on it, but it was kind of cool just to kind of break away from the whole crypto type thing, especially what the markets are doing right now. I did, I did some DCA in Friday. We'll talk about that in a second. But other than that, it was cool to take a break from that. Enjoy July 4th. My whole family was together at home, did some barbecuing, um, took a ride as a family down the Grand Isle. If you all saw my videos there, I had to go fix one of my wing bits miners. But my family has never been down to Grand Isle before. So now my wife's interested in getting a fishing camp down there and wanting to hang out down there more, which I would have never, ever, ever thought if anybody knows my wife ever thought that. But to her, it's a nice, relaxing place where she can break open a book and listen to the golf and while I go fishing and do whatever. So y'all like to pay me some money for a fishing camp or camper. Y'all know where to send it. but. Let's get on with this, with this, man. So, unless you're living on the rock, and I know I said it every week, crypto markets have been having blood in the streets. And I tell everybody that blood in the streets is when the real people, real crypto people need to be buying. When there's fear, we have to take advantage of that. And they had some fear over the last couple of days, and this market has been dropping. So to say that we have one reason why crypto is falling and markets, even stock markets, some things are falling also. So let's not all pretend like this is just crypto crashing and crypto is a scam, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of things falling right now. I've tried to tell people over and over, don't count on these rates to fall. FOMC meeting was going on. Everybody assumes that rates are going to fall, rates are going to fall. That starts getting baked in the price. Then we find out, guess what? Rates ain't falling. This happened a couple of months ago. And I know there's nobody really in my channel that has control over that or, you know, anything like that. But it's just one of the things where, I, you know, I mean, I like to say I told you so sometimes. And sometimes y'all don't want to hear it or some people don't want to hear it. But I don't count on that. This economy, despite what anybody wants to argue, I'm not going to make this a government or 
a election thing or a political thing, but we have to face whoever's in the office right now has to own up to it. So whether you like like whether you like Biden or hate Biden, like Trump, hate Trump, like RFK, hate RFK, like Roseanne Barr, if she's running again, I don't know. Yeah, whoever's sitting in office right now is going to get the blame. When Trump was in office and if something started going bad, he took the blame. When Obama was in office, he took the blame. When George W. was in office, he took the blame. Right now, Biden's been in office for three years, three years plus. He can't keep blaming it on Trump. Inflation is still out the whizzing. They're not going to drop rates. So y'all need to quit thinking that rates are going to keep dropping. And what happens is when rates don't drop, all of a sudden, it's mass panic. Then you got Germany selling Bitcoin, and people are losing their minds off over that. You got some whales selling, and, and you got that going on. But I, I still say I like the dips. This is a long-term thing for me. I'm not trying to get rich next week or anything like that. And dips are opportunity to buy. Ladies and gentlemen, we told you all months ago, if you, especially if you follow George, I, used to, I was following George a lot during the bear market. He got me through it. And one thing he always talked about all the time was the blood in the streets, the fear index, the greed index, fear and greed. And where was it at? And when it, that fear was really, really high or low, depending on how you want to look at this, that is when you need to buy. And when you see fear at a 28, just a couple of weeks ago, this was way over here in the greed thing. When you start seeing this over here, that is a sign to buy. Now, none of this is financial advice. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a big TA person. Y'all know that. But again, I tell you all the time, I think the fact that I kind of stay back and not into all this TA, it kind of gives me a fresher outlook of what I do and don't want to see. I'm telling y'all, I think I DCA last week. This was a perfect timing. I got paid Friday. July 5th, I think it was, and I DCA'd, and I, I have no problem telling you all I DCA. I rarely, rarely buy Bitcoin or Ethereum because I just feel I've missed the boat on that. But when I see Bitcoin down the, in the 50s, the mid 50s, when you talk about all this ETF and what it could possibly be going to in years because of ETF, I'm buying some Bitcoin. I DCA'd into Bitcoin. I DCA'd into AVAX. I DCA'd into Solana. DCA'd into VET. Those, that, that's the money I had set on the side. I got a lot of things coming up. I didn't have a lot of money to spend, so I DCA. I didn't put all that money into one thing. I DCA'd into several small things. And then two, three days ago, I was telling my buddies I was up in all of them until what recently happened. But one thing we have to look out for, you know, when people see this or when you see this, people get all nervous and stuff. And I try to tell y'all when in doubt, you know, this was down to 54,000. This is 54300 on Sunday. And if I would have saw this, I probably would have bought a little bit more and squeezed it out of somewhere. But because not really, I probably would have bought Bitcoin, but I still would have loaded up some more AVAX, more Solana. I didn't buy no ETH. I probably would have bought some ETH depending on where that was. But when you see this, you have to zoom out. You know, you go to the one day and you have to remember that in February, we were below this still. We're still above this line. and now you have Garrett Holloway saying he thinks that this is going to be your support you have to watch, 50,000. If it breaks below this 50,000, then it could be really bad. I, I just call me naive. I just don't see it. But again, with this economy and what's going on, we don't know. One reason y'all know I like to discuss all that is because when I look at what some of these other things are doing, this is the Ethereum chart. Again, this was Sunday, 2,800. You would have bought down here, of course you'd be up already. You look at Solana. Solana on Sunday was $120. I keep telling y'all, y'all see Solana in 120s and 130s, not financial advice, but I would jump on it. We know some of the price estimates that they're talking about Solana going into the bull cycle, whatever that starts, whether that's October, November, December, that's gonna parallel with the election. In addition to that six to eight months after the halving, which is in the past, in the past cycles, that's when the bull market really starts. I tried telling people the bull market was not back in March when you started seeing all this happen. This was the ETFs, and everybody's like, bull market started, bull market started. No, it didn't. The ETF got everybody excited. People started buying some of this other stuff because they thought 
it was going to start going up and it, it was a, to me i call the false false bull market you know you, you look at this right here with cardano and cardano's back at the price it was back last november hey if you like cardano this is some great times to buy and there's a part of me a very small part of me i almost bought cardano because i was buying cardano all up in here in this 40 50 60 cent range for a while but i was also buying it back here all throughout this bear market so when it gets down here i like to buy just to kind of reduce my average buy-in but with me having limited funds you know I, I took advantage of avax and you look at where avax is right now at 25 dollars when it was at 65 dollars not too long ago i, I kind of like that um you know avax is back down to the same price it was in december and avax has a lot of projects a lot of projects behind it and we know that it's going to be a, still going to be a successful project and you know i was i was discussing this with a buddy of mine who i've been in crypto with for a while and he's down big and he watches some of these people and i don't want to say the other youtubers names but it's you know get into ai get into these real micro cap ai coins that are like you know rank 3000 and i and i told him straight up i said that's just not me i don't mind in your portfolio if you want to have one or two or three of those coins don't go crazy with it yes it could be big rewards but those also are the hardest ones that fell and guess what he is dying right now because he's getting wrecked on them where your bigger coins might not be the great reward in the end your avax your adam your solana your vet ethereum and even bitcoin to a point but they're, they're also your safest ones because you know the projects behind them so you know here's avax you look back on a daily chart you see how far back and look this is to me it's great pricing you know i bought at 25 dollars, so that was friday and here you go if you can see the chart I, that's when i bought the vet is another one that has some good projects behind it you don't hear a lot of people talk about it for some reason i don't know why but there's a lot of people who who are in the v chain and v chain that was up to 20 cents at one time for all time highs you know I, I think that you got 27 cents at one time for an all-time high i told everybody if i catch this dropping below two cents i'm stopping what i'm doing i'm buying some i don't care if i have to sell some other stuff move some money around that's how high i am on vet it makes a little bit of a of a um you know, staking reward on exodus not that it's really that much you make some v throw with it but either way you know this was up to five cents so even that you're doubling your money just if it goes back to here again i'm in this for the long run and you let this drop down to, to one nine or one eight and then go back to that 25 cents level you know that that that's a pretty good clip so that that's what i dca'd into um I don't know what this is going to do with the ETF, but so we kind of see where we are with with these with these charts right now. You know, since since seven days ago, everything's kind of down. So let's see what our projects are doing. So rolling straight into our projects is you know, starting first with Helium IoT. So Helium is kind of kind of held it even though it does say down nine percent for the week really though when you look at it it's it was at six seven point zero 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 six seven and it's at point zero zero six one so it really hasn't fell too crazily so i'm still making four dollars a day with 17 stations um i'm sorry yeah four dollars total that's 27 cents per station right now so you know, I try not to always be negative. People start to attack me every now and then because I'm always negative, I'm always negative. But I see these people talking about trying to buy, especially also because they want to dual mine. Instead of just going buy a pie for, you know, a pie could, you can get a pie on Amazon for 65, 70, or hundred dollars for the whole kit or a little potato. But they want to get a sense cap for some reason. You're looking at 500 days to ROI strictly on your sense cap before you're in the profits. Now you will multi mine, so you might get some profits from other things. But my point is, why not just go with a potato or go with 
um, the sweet potato is the new thing, or a just a pie, pie four, pie five, probably even cheaper than what some of these helium devices are going for online. At 27 cents a day, you really have to think about it. Again, yes, you'll be able to do them on helium on top of some other stuff. But hey, that's your own money. I just bring you all the facts. People get their feelings hurt over facts. People attack me, make ugly comments to me about facts, and I can't help it. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Facts is facts. You're making 27 cents a day. That's what I'm making on mine. Mine are getting 17, 18, 19 good witnesses in it. So it's in very good areas. It's not oversaturated. 27 cents a day. If that's for you, have at it. Now, if you follow this video at all in the past several Mondays, a lot of several Mondays, I have been moving my IoT almost daily straight to Seoul. So that Solana has been building up. And even when Solana was down $120, that was me buying Solana at a decent price. Yes, the IoT was lower. Understand how that works. You don't have to correct me. But the reason I'm mentioning that is because on some days, I was actually, for a change, I did this a while back, but I, I changed and I was actually converting some of my IoT to mobile. Why, you ask? Well, mobile had a pretty decent jump up last week, in the beginning of the week. So you went from 0 0.0017 up to 0 0.0023, which was a pretty decent jump. I'll give credit to where credit is due. So I'm like, hey, something must have happened. I don't know what news was out there. I kind of looked around. I didn't see too much going on. But hey, you know, we talked about that in our last um, video last Monday about some possible news with at and I think that's FUD, but um, who knows? But it came back down to earth. But, you know, for the week, it, it's, it's, it's down. You know, it was at 0 0.0017 and it's down to 0 0.0014. So you had this jump. Last Monday was the first and you know last monday you had the probably about this is when we were doing our pro, uh, our video last week so 0 0.016 so you had a little bit of a down thing again i keep talking about mobile because I just don't understand it mobile is a good project that it has a cellular project behind it that is that is successful i have to give it to them the mining side, maybe not so much, but you would just think that these tokens would be getting burnt, the data moved. I, I just don't understand it. You know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is down almost 10% since last week's video. So, you know, if everything else is kind of down that same percentage, I, I guess I'll give that to them. You know, helium itself, you know, I know it's being used. I said, I just said that a little while ago, you know, a week ago was at 350. Now it's at 319, 320. So it is down some, it is down 10%, which is kind of the same thing Bitcoin is right now. When you look at for the month, it's kind of holding, you know, 350 to there. You know, it 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 came up, came back down. We were hoping it would stay up here a little bit more. Again, I I think there'll be this is not financial advice, of course. This is just me talking out the side of my my head mouth whatever you want to call it i still think hnt has got some legs in this next bull run because of the projects behind it because of the projects using it now do i think it's going to hit 40 50 again no i'm sorry to break people's hearts but i don't think 20 or 25 dollars, maybe even 30 if it's a strong bull market strong Sol solana stuff i don't think that's out i mean again just back in february you were back to ten dollars. If we haven't started the bull market yet, I could see it getting to twenty, and I'll be extremely ecstatic getting it getting back to twenty because I still hold a decent chunk of helium. So we'll see what happens with that. But moving on, you know, again, I'm back to converting everything every day. All my six thousand, I think I'm up to sixty six hundred um, IoT a day. It is straight. As soon as I get it downloaded every evening, it's getting transferred to Solana. Move to an Exodus wallet, locked for staking, and I'm making a couple of percent off the staking. And that, that's just what I'm doing with it. Um, I have enough IoT right now. I have enough Helium. I have enough mobile that I'm comfortable with. And I really want, I'm, I'm very big into Solana for the bull run coming up. And I'm just going to try to stack as much as that I can.
Moving on to Weather XM. Weather XM is Weather XM. It's 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 operating. I'm up to 137 coins. That price has fallen a little bit. And not really that bad. Actually, it's down about 17%, 18% since last week. Uh, last week we did it. It was at 90 cents. It's at 78 cents now. But again, the markets have been killing it. So Weather XM, I don't know what the buying pressure is. Y'all are going to hear me mention that a lot in several projects. But another issue I have is, and I'll say this again about other projects later also, is this is a working project that has been worked on for who knows how long now. Why is this not listed on coin market cap yet? It's got volume going through it. It made it to an exchange or two. So um, Trader Joe, Balancer with Arbitrum. I, I just, to me, this should be on coin market cap verified and, and going. But again, I'm going to say this again for the thousand time. I don't knock them. I did not get into this project for to make money. I got into it because I'm weather. I like the weather. I like crypto. It's a merge of both those projects and I'm in it to whatever. As long as at some point I can ROI, which right now I already have $105. I think this has been on mainnet for a month now. And I already have $105, which has already paid for more than a quarter, a third of this device. I'm happy with it. One issue I, I saw that they announced was in case you had any issues with a helium weather XM miner not being able to connect to helium they had some issues with it but apparently that was resolved no fault to weather xm that was on the helium side but apparently it's resolved so if you do have a helium device um a helium weather xm device that should be resolved mine connects through wi-fi which has its own issues i'm not even going to bother you all with that but my device doesn't move from where it's been for the last three months and just once a day once a week it just gets not a 100%, which I can't understand why, because many that works, but it is what it is. Moving on to Natix, we might as well go ahead and get Grumpy's rant over with early in this video. And this is not geared towards Natix, it's geared towards some of y'all that are in Natix. What did y'all pay to get in Natix? Listen, I want Lambos too. I might say I don't want Lambos. I don't really want Lambos because I'm too fat to get Lambos. I just want maybe a big diesel f-250 ultimate denali that's worth as much as a, a um lambo but i joke my point i'm trying to make is you're getting to a free project that costs you nothing to get him and i'm seeing the comments on my videos when i discuss natix um people complaining online about what the natix coin was worth this is going to be for any project that has been giving out test tokens and giving out test tokens and what happens when it goes live? You got people dumping. If you didn't expect this, get out of crypto. Because guess what? You see these other test net type um, projects down here? Guess what's going to happen when they go to mainnet? If you don't think that those tokens are going to get dropped, especially this one, if it ever, which I have my doubts, but I'm not going to skip ahead to that one. I'm on this rant right now. If you don't think that's going to happen to these projects, you better slap yourself in the face and get ready because it's going to happen. Just like it's happening here. You did not pay to get in this project. Now I can understand that if you paid and invested and did all this stuff to get in this project, and then now you're, you're worried about what the payback's going to be kind of like this one, really like this one. I can understand it, but you didn't pay a dime to get in this one. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been in Natix now. I can't tell you how long. I don't want to lie to you. I can tell you, I've been doing this, this spreadsheet right here. February 12th is the first one I did. And I was in Natix with this. Um, and I might've been in it maybe a month or two before that, maybe. So a couple of months. And I have several hundred dollars worth of Natix coins, if I'm not mistaken. So I have over about $150 worth of tokens. Especially if you go back to where it was at 0 
which was kind of like it's high, but I'm not sweating this. This was a, I, I'm going to say it again, because the fact that people cry, I did a short over the weekend. I finally found a phone holder that I like that doesn't suction cup to the windshield. It actually goes on to the rear view mirror and it holds your phone and it's perfect, perfect distance to adjust it. If you haven't caught that short, I'll try to remember to put a link in this video, but I always forget. Check that short out. But my point is, then I had to have the a-hole comments where, oh, it's only going to take you 55 years to, to ROI on that phone holder for $12. Ha, 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 ha. And it took everything I had not to get my channel shut down and just go off on them. Again, it's a free project. Dude, what are you losing? What are you losing by running? I, I'm running this on a broken phone that my kids had years ago that it ain't pr probably ain't broken. It's just an old iPhone 8 or 9 or something like that that's tethered to a device in my car, a MiFi for internet. And it just sits there and it runs while I'm driving around. It's free money, dude. I'm sorry, it ain't gonna buy you Lambo, but in a couple of months you make a hundred bucks. I'm probably doing better with that than I am doing helium at 27 cents a day if I did the math, which I'm not gonna do right now because I ain't got time. But you wanna bet? And how much we pay for helium devices? So rant over with, get over it. And another thing with Natix is Natix has brought on this group of selected advisors and investors that are into you know different things into crypto, which can only help and improve their project. Demo, rant started up again. Thirty nine cents a day still. After seven months being into Demo, I still have not ROI on my eighty nine dollar device yet. I bought three of them. I'm at $213, so I'm still $50, $60 less than what ROI is. I will say on the positive, Devo has kind of had this little spike in the last um, five hours. I don't know what's going on with it. I haven't really looked at it, um, but it still has held really even, even before then, even with this 20 or 30%, whatever the drop was that we saw with Bitcoin, it still was kind of holding already for, for the last seven days. So maybe some of the dumping with Demo has gone off, is gone away. You know, it's still seeing over $2 million in volume in 24 hours. So I know one of the biggest complaints is that it was only on Coinbase. Now it looks like it's on Gate.io, Bit, Get, Bit, Bing X, Bing X. Also, so Demo had a couple of updates. Um, Mac, the macaron mapping challenge was over the finish line on July 30th. I didn't get that excited over this. Me, as something that I always find something negative, was you go drive around certain areas like New York where there are literally five to six helium miners on every block, and you go map that versus, you know, somebody driving around where I live at within 20, 30 miles, other than my, I don't know what I said, I had 15, 16 helium stations between here and New Orleans or something like that, you know we're gonna you know we're gonna come close to competing with that. That's why I didn't get that excited over that. Um they had some demo insights. Um there was a Tesla API outage if you had a Tesla. So they were working on that. There was an update to the Macron firmware update that's now live and pushed out. Um they fixed that some users complained about macarons being put to sleep, but demo projects about to put me to sleep, to be honest with you. Um, I've already said what I said about it before, and I, I still feel the same way that me personally, not financial advice. Some people want to get in the projects to get in the projects to make passive income. That's all you. If you have no problem with the fact that it might take you six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, 10 months to ROI on the 80, well, I bought three at the time. It was eighty nine dollars for if you bought three or more plus shipping. But I'll just to be fair, I'm saying eighty nine dollars. I'm not even including the shipping. But it's gonna be hundred dollars for a device. I do have a um a code that if you do want to get in demo, use the code. It gets you a extra bonus when you first hook it up, and it gets me a little bit of bonus too. If you still want to do it, some people want to be, still be in passive income. They see that this is a stable project. However, I mentioned this last week. The CEO quit recently that's normally not a good thing 
but I'm sure somebody will be here to make an excuse why it doesn't really matter. But there are another three. It seems like every week there's a 3,000 increase, 3,000 increase, 3,000 increase. So they're onboarding devices. You're up to 97,000 cars now. I guess that could be used as stability. So that's Demo. Me, if I was starting over today, I'd pass. That's just me. But I bring it up because I am in it, and a lot of y'all ask about it. Chirp, my Chirp device has been steady rolling. No problems. It's, it's steady. Um, I have my the miner set up. I'm at about 1,000 Chirp right now, I think. No idea what that's really even worth. It's still on test net. So, y'all, I'm very high in this project. I just got a feeling that this could be successful. I don't think they'll be trying to sell $800, $900 devices if they didn't have the network and the clientele ready to back this up. That's just my gut feeling on it. Another project that I think if you get in early on, you'll be successful. It is, I do have a bad taste in my mouth with the fact that it's still the helium. They try to say that they want to not fall for the same helium issues that helium did, but yet you still have people fighting in the streets for these devices. And that's my number one issue with them right now is that why, how can you not have enough devices ready for the demand when you say that you're going to not have those issues. So that's, that, that is one of the things that I see having the issue with. So they did announce about having Blackbird miners availability upgrade. I'm assuming this is an automatic thing because when you click here to find out about upgrading, it's the same thing you had to follow the instructions. Make sure it has fast, decent internet. Make sure it has steady internet. Make sure it has steady power. Make sure it's it's in a good location. One thing that I was concerned with that I did read is these do have some type of GPS locators in them. I don't see an antenna for it. It could be ribbonous, but I'm not going to open mine to find out. But they said make sure it has clear line of sight through the top of it for the GPS receiver. So if that is possible, I like this project even more it's one of the first projects first a few there are some other projects out there but that use gps to pinpoint exactly where it's at and that was one of the biggest holdups about a knocks against helium was you could have simply just added a gps tracker a gps antenna i have one right here somewhere and could automatically verify its location plugged it into the usb so if they do have gps a lot better bottom there is a arcing talk whatever that is next week or later this week june 11th which is my um i'm sorry july 11th which is my birthday actually but when you get my age you don't talk about birthdays anymore so another thing they do have going on right now is this contest where um you get to do a couple of these different challenges every day and you build up points to go towards an airdrop. I have been participating in that. Again, I want as many chirp as I possibly can get because that's how positive I feel about this project. I see that people who bought the miners in June should have them delivered sometime July, August. Again, that's for the people who got to buy. I, I, I have I just have a little bit of an issue with the fact that they didn't have the devices ready to go for people. I know they don't want to board onboard a lot at one time, but kind of stuck in this balance between having enough and not making people wait because that's where people start trying to sell them on eBay for stupid amount of money and everything like that. I will say that when when Chirp does try to release their next set of NFTs, you have to buy an NFT to be able to get a Chirp device. The way it's looking right now, things change. Y'all know me, things change. But the way it's looking right now, if I had the funds available, depending on when it is, you know, if this is a week before Christmas, I ain't going to be able to do it. But depending on when it is and how that network looks, I will try to probably take a little bit of profit. You know, like I just said, I was buying crypto very low during the bear market. And my plan is to try to buy at least one and only one additional chirp miner because I want to put it, I got a good location for it that I want to put it. Chirps wide open in the United States, basically. But at $800, $900 devices, I don't think you have to worry about people putting 
non devices on the buildings and stuff like that, like he did with helium when they were only $100 a piece or $200 a piece. But we'll see. Some people are just too scared of this project because they think it's, you know, why is this going to succeed when helium didn't? And that's a logical answer. They say they have ways of, of making it succeed because they are going to allow more IoT devices to connect into their network where helium was very, very strict. It sounds good. It also can do dual band where it's doing 2.4 gigahertz and the 915 gigahertz where the helium can only do 915. We're going to see. We're going to see if, if, if taking that plunge on a non hollow device is worth it. All right, so I moved wing bits up to this um, test net spot, and I'm going to tell you, I can't rank one of, either one, one or two. Um, I like, I know the wing bits team personally. I'm a lot more comfortable with that project, but let, we're going to be honest here. Where wing bits just went to test net, chirp is any day going to TGE or mainnet. And that's what, that's why I can't really, I feel bad putting one as one or one as two. You know, I like the wing bits project. I know what they got going on. So I would normally make them one, but with chirp being so close to mainnet, and I know what they got going on. I feel bad putting them at two vice versa. So they're both number one wing bits, um, has got their, it wasn't even their issues. The Solana DevNet issues fixed. They started doing some test drop to the DevNet wallets. If you had a Phantom wallet, some Solana wallets don't, don't accept DevNet. I know people trying to use Coinbase and um, Crypto.com apps and stuff like that as exchanges and then complaining why they couldn't find their DevNet tokens. Well, because you're using the wrong wallet. And what we also found out though is it doesn't really matter because this is just test net tokens or DevNet tokens that are being sent out. So if you don't have a wallet hooked up, you're not going to miss out on any tokens because whatever's being sent to DevNet is going to be washed out anyway. And when this does go to mainnet in a couple of months, you're going to be reissued the real tokens back for what you should have got during testnet. So if you're not hooked up to a wallet, don't fret. You're not missing out. You're not losing out. If you see that there's an issue with Solana DevNet again and you didn't get your tokens tonight or last night, don't go crazy worried about it or anything like that. You're going to get real wing tokens when it goes to mainnet, whenever that could be. The one thing I wanted to share with you was this cool little GIF. GIF, I don't get that argument either. But it shows you from when they started this, it wasn't even before it was beta. Um, I think I've been in this, I keep saying I was one of the first stations, but this says like around June, May or June is when I put the first station online. So you can see where Louisiana is and how that blows up as I add stations. But I think it's cool to show you how far this, this project has come in one year. One year. So you see right here, and then sometime right yeah, there, right there. So that was what? I don't know. I don't even know what that was. But anyway, it's cool just to see how much this project has started and, you know, how much it's grown already in one year. So that's Wing Bits. We'll go ahead and move on to Sword Chain. Sword Chain, T -Sor, Um, I do have a code for that in my description. Should give you a discount on it also if you want $10 off a device. But I have um, I made 944 tokens since last week. I'm up to 9,700 T Sword tokens, and I stake all of them in Dash Tech Validator. And I am making some very, very good rewards staking right now. Don't know what the token's going to be worth, but again, I think I paid $89 and $90 for this device also, and we'll see what's going to happen with it. So one big thing about SourChain was that they announced that they're thrilled to announce that Elevate Ventures is now one of their investors. Like a lot of you had never heard of them before, but when you click on the Twitter link, it seems that they are back pretty good. And um, when you read some of these, comments of what they're involved in with nvidia microsoft backing and different things like that seems to be a pretty big deal and y'all know i've pushed sword chain for a while now and again i think for 89 dollars 
it's worth kind of the pain. It's worth kind of the pain in the butt of in, of having it connected every time you get in the car. It is nowhere as user friendly as Demo, but we all know again, getting into these projects early could really pay off. Demo paid off early in the beginning, and you still have time to get in this this project. Not financial advice, but you can still get into it. Again, I have a discount code. They are not going to mainnet until they announced on in September, which I haven't me because I find negative with everything. Why even mention if it's that far away? There's many things that can change. It's kind of like, hey, hold on, don't go nowhere. We, we promise it's coming down the line. I think it could have came a little bit sooner than that, but that's just me. A project that's been this ready for some time, but hey, that's just me. But that's sort of change. So Silencio, there's nothing really new going on with that. If you go to announcements in Discord, they announce some kind of newsletter or something like that. Um, nothing about mainnet. I'm up to 106,000 tokens. Again, I run Silencio constantly. If I'm outside doing yard work. If I'm inside, if I'm at a restaurant, at my office, I run it constantly. Any, anytime I can consciously think about it, I'm running it. I'm still ranked. You know, I moved up a rank a little bit. I'm at, you know, 1487 in the Diamond League. I'm 161 day streak. Still have a lot of app crashes. I find that, you know, you're running it, you're running it. Something else comes up on your phone. When you go back to Silencio, it's crashed all the way back to what I call title screen or the main screen. It's not like it used to. It used to that if something else was used, a microphone, it would say microphone being used and would at least stop your tokens there and you could still claim your tokens. It's not doing that. It crashes to me too much going back to title screen. And it sucks that when you're at 28 and 29 minutes and all of a sudden something happens on your phone and when you go back to Silencio, you've lost all of them. I think that's an issue that needs to be resolved. Um, I really don't have nothing in this beta section yet because I moved wing bits up to this test net. Now they're in test net, but you know, I got people y'all telling me about different projects. I haven't really found any. I want to get really involved in. I'm done with the whole data sharing, put this on your phone, put this on your computer, stuff like that. I just don't trust it. Especially when it's free to me, my security is not worth making two cents a day on it. So I, I got grass running. I'm going to talk about grass in a second. But as far as these new projects coming, you know, if it's anything data related about share this, you know, another, 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 another share this on your computer, Chrome extension on your phone. I'm just not messing with it right now. GeoNet, I got great news for GeoNet. GeoNet sent me a notice today while I was just on this recording this video that there is a shipping label created. So if anybody looking to get in the GeoNet, I ordered this 10 weeks ago. Even though it said six to eight weeks delivery, 10 weeks ago, two weeks ago, they told me that they were expecting a shipment any day in. And I was top of that list. And when that shipment came in, my stuff would get delivered. That was two weeks ago. They thought it would ship out two weeks ago. Last week was somewhat of a holiday. I'll give them that one. And um, that's I bought it from HiFix. And if anybody's interested in GeoNet, I have a link down below to um, you help the channel out if you happen to get a HiFix uh, device. Um, from Geo, uh, GeoNet from high fixed device. To be dead honest with you, I don't know where I'm going to put it at. Um, if y'all followed these videos before in the last couple of weeks, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but I was all hyped up on this GeoNet thing, and they had burst or whatever you want to call them that you could put the device in and get 2x, 4x, 6x, 12x rewards and different things like that. I mentioned I was going to play on putting this in Baton Rouge, then all of a sudden, not one, but two GeoNet show up in Baton Rouge. I'm not putting one in, in, in there. Also, rewards um, got halved in July 1st. So that's that. For the week, the GeoNet token's down a little bit. It's only you know down 10%. Again, we saw the crypto markets down 20%. So to me, that's still somewhat of a positive. When you look at it for the month, though, for the month, it, it went from 17 cents. Don't look at the percentage. 17 cents to 16 cents. 
I, I don't think that's 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 that bad. I think it's holding its own compared to what some of these other projects have been doing. Um, you know, it had a thirty two cent spike. It's kind of half of that, but I, I'm still positive on the project. I know there's a lot of people using the project. I know there's a big kind of a demand for the project. I've seen that. If you're interested, you can go to GeoNet and check out this YouTube video that they made with potential use cases. Um, GeoNet's tokenomics. It's a pretty good video. If you got time to watch it, of course, after you finish watching my stuff, but um, check it out. Another big announcement was they had a strategic partnership with Unmanned Life, which is a leader in the autonomous drone orchestration technology. Um, I guess, you know, they need very, very precise GPS for centimeter level accuracy. And that's why I just said, I think there is a demand for people who need me as like, you know, I know GPS from hunting and fishing and it tells you that GPS can be off up to like a meter, two, three meters, sometimes like 12 meters, which is a lot. Um, so you're trying to find some path when you're walking through. I've seen it, you know, depending on how many satellites you can hit and stuff like that can't imagine going down a, a centimeter level accuracy and that's what these people are looking for that's why they got those bursts in certain areas to entice people to go there and put up geonet miners so there definitely is a demand another big thing is i think this might be also why the tokens holding well is there's another hundred thousand geo tokens burned this is this is like every week now and they they have burned over 6 6.1 million tokens ladies and gentlemen at today's price that is $915,000 worth of geo that's nearly 1 million they burned nearly 1 million dollars worth of this token that's a positive thing despite whatever else we talked about when you want to look at the tokenomics and we worried about getting ROIs and work about, worry about making money and stuff. When you're burning like this, that is a positive thing. When you look at the tokenomics of it and you're starting off with 1 billion tokens and you've already burnt 6 million tokens, 6.1 million tokens, that's, that's a decent chunk. So that's more than what Luna's burning, Luna Classic's burning right now. So yes, I, I'd like to see a little more of this, of, of this, of this volume right here, but you know, you really don't have any big time exchanges yet. Yes, it's now listed on MEXC, QuickSwap, Gate.io, but you let a Binance or KuCoin or somebody start picking this GeoNet token up, you're going to see the buying pressure. So some projects have a buying mechanism that when people buy the data or buy their services, they buy the token and then, you know, either burn it, lock it, do whatever they do with it, or some just burn the tokens. And, that, and that's what apparently GeoNet's doing. It's, it's still a mechanism that is getting rid of this excess tokens that's helping the value out. So that is still a positive thing about this project. You know, Hive Mapper, y'all know I've been back and forth on whether I'm going to cancel my order or not. And I, I think I'm at that point, I'll be honest with you. I will say, I'll give the positives first, is that after a week, even with this market being down, this has held steady. It's held the course. It is actually up. 0.01 cent so it's at it was at 0.056 it's at 0.057 which is a good thing um even for the day it's up three percent for the month is down 20 percent but again that's only going from 0.074 to 0.075 so where it was falling a lot it, it is kind of stabled out a little bit what my issue is there's a lot of people complaining about rewards and you got this guy right here on the bottom. Again, I don't know him. This is just what he's claiming. He has his, um, where you can click on it, but you have where he drove 1,300 kilometers and made $9. And I, I, now again, we don't know if he is driving over the same roads every day and not mapping new stuff. I've asked on our, dis, on our Facebook, uh, the Deep Pin Facebook group, I run two different, Facebook groups for those who have not are not in them. I have a deep in Facebook group and I have a wing bits Facebook group. Y'all join in on those. But I've asked people, how are y'all rewards working? So I can report back to everybody else in these videos. 
And I've had some guys tell me how it's still going good. And I got some people saying they wouldn't get back into it. I don't know what, the, what that tells you. Me, I said before, I don't have a lot of capital going around. I'm trying to invest my money wisely into the future. But I got 400 Fifty plus dollars tied up into a B minor that nobody can tell me when it's coming in, and keep going back and forth because none of the none of the roads in my area are mapped. But I also look at this as I don't have time to go ride around these roads. I'm not doing Uber. I'm not doing Lyft. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you if you're doing Uber and Lyft, then some of these projects will work great for you. Nadix, Sword Chain, T, um, Demo to a point. And honey, Hive Mapper will work great because you're mapping the hell out of these roads, especially because you, you go down roads that ain't been mapped before. I'm not doing that. Yes, I drive so many miles back and forth to work. I go to different meetings around the state, but those are all gonna be on major highways. So I can take that 450, flip it into my computer build that I'm trying to finish off. Um, just got a ham radio because I, I, I need a new HF ham radio rig. My wife and I are trying to do a little early little vacation thing in August before a conference that I'm going to. It's just I have a lot of stuff going on to be sitting here and having four hundred fifty dollars tied up in a project that I have no idea how long it's going to take to ROI. I will say that you know even though you have people in here who is complaining that they've been trying to get our uh, uh, discount on um, their refunds. And nobody's responded back to them. I emailed them about a refund last week and they got right back to me and asked me, hey, if you want a refund, you can have it. So I kind of got a little cold feet on it because I keep hearing just from a couple of people that they're still getting some decent rewards. You know, my, my big fear is that come bull market, this, 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 this price goes back to where it was at one time. You know, even though it did do some bit decent spikes, but you know, at 31 cents, at some point, you know, now that's, if it goes back to where that all-time high was, 30 cents during a bull market, that same thing he was complaining about earlier, now he's getting $56. That's a little better. You know, you have some people complain about what they're getting in rewards. Um, you know, this 96 honey, when it, if it gets back to what the higher prices were, this wasn't, it's not that bad. And that, that's kind of what my fear is. But again, I also look at it as is how much time do I have to drive? You know, I talk about going back during hunting season and stuff. And where I go hunting at Missouri, there's not roads anywhere around there that's mapped. But I might not even have this thing by hunting season. So I don't know. Like I said, I keep going back and forth. And me reinvesting that money into some coins and also my computer build could be a better payout. I, I don't know. You know. Um, I tell y'all, y'all can tell the way I keep going around circles around this every Monday that I don't know what I want to do yet. All right, so Bit Harvest. I'm still plugging along with Bit Harvest on several devices right now. One thing I was just read that they added finally was I asked them to add a tab on the top of your Bit Harvest dashboard with an alias because right now they're using device IDs, which is a mixture of their, I guess, their number along with part of your Mac or something like that. And when I go into two or three different ones I'm playing around with, I don't know which one's which. So I said, hey, how hard is it to add a alias tab next to that? Sure enough, they supposedly did it. I have not been in it. I've been very busy today. It's been Monday after a four day weekend at work. I haven't had a chance to look at any of that. Um, I will say that they also have now announced that a partnership with Fry. Yeah, um, I think it's a positive thing. I will say this. This is one more tool in the tool chest that you get to use with BitHarvest. That makes it up to like, I lost count. I, lost, I ran out of fingers. I know I failed college math. But when I run out of fingers of projects, that's a good thing. I keep saying the same thing over and over. When you can take your Helium device that was doing one project, and now you can possibly, depending on where you located that, because things one X is not available in the United States, but depending on where you're at, when you could possibly mine 10, 11, it might even be up to 12 projects now with, with this fry thing. I think it might be 11 and then 12 is going to be they're trying to work out some type of way of mining bit harvest studio token, which device that might make it 12. 
That's crazy. That's crazy that you were doing one device. I have been testing, um, actually fully deployed now, a potato, la potato, which now I started using sweet potatoes because for the same price, you can get DDR4 RAM instead of DDR3 RAM. You could also get um, Wi-Fi built into it, and it's got UEFI BIOS booting or something crazy like that. But it works. I'm running six or seven projects on one La Potato that has two gigs of RAM, and it's pumping it out with no problem. The only thing you can't do is you can't run Things One X or Helium on these because there's no Helium hat or, or Helium radio. I don't care. So I can't make 23 cents a day. God bless. Um, but now, now, I haven't did it yet. I plan on doing a video. I'm going to reach out to the Fry people, see about getting some type of license so I can do a how-to video on how to add Fry mining to a Bit Harvest Studio device where all from what i'm told is all you have to do is is add the fry project to your device in the pull down menu of bit harvest you will then you know get your fry license from them i think it's a hundred dollars or something like that you then plug in a certain type of you uh, gps device run a little gps antenna on top of your device boom now you're frying now you're frying now you are mining fry satellite mining or whatever it is and we'll see how it goes but i, I think that's a, a big step for for uh you know legit project fry what fry has been out there even though i might not be 100 percent keen on them i will say it's still a legit project that's out there it's been out there for a while and you know we'll talk about them and roll right into that so you know a couple of weeks ago i took fry off and grass off and i heard some feedback about it and so I kind of added it back. Fry still kind of holding steady at that 11 cent price. Just because I sound like a broken record every Monday, I must continue to say it. Fry's been out long enough, just like the other project I spoke about, that they should be listed on coin market cap. Get this fixed. Y'all want to be known as a legitimate project. Get this fixed. This raises flags to me. I will say this every weekend until it gets done. So on CoinGecko, you have Fry Crypto that's up 7% today. Um, where was it at? 0 0.0011 at one point. Now it's at 0 0.00118. Last seven days since um, we did our last pro uh, last video, you had 0 0.00128, and now you're down to 0 0.00117, which really and honestly, that's not that big of a drop of how bad it looks. Um, but the, the thing that this at one time was going for over a penny and they reduced re the reward bonuses at some point, you know, is at 0 0.018 and now it's at 0 0.0011. I'm sure they got some people who really are disgusted and wish they would have sold a little bit, just a little bit of profits, not saying sell all of it. There's nothing wrong with taking profits. This one thing in this channel we'll talk about is taking profits and you can reinvest it into different things. But hey, it is what it is. That's the facts. I know a while back, a couple of weeks ago, they, were, they they voted to reduce rewards even more. I question that. That's just me. Um, they only had, according to this, $1,800 in trading volume. I don't know how accurate that is. If that's accurate, I have a huge issue with that. But again, you look at the exchanges they're on. Tiny Man, non-KYC. X, whatever the hell this is, non KYC.io again. Um, I, I, I know this can't be accurate, but it, there's people who are buying 300 something dollar devices complaining they haven't got them in yet. And if you're buying 300 something dollar devices for this project, good, good luck to you. Good luck to you. I, I've said the same thing over and over again is that. They have their hands in so many different things between the weather, there's weather miners, there's satellite miners, there's data miners, there are sound miners, there's air pollution miners, all this, all these different things that are they're spread all over the place. If they can somehow make this project work with all those devices, this is going to be a wonderful, great project. I say that every week. 
but it makes it 10 times harder to succeed when you got when you were spread out in all those different projects that's the fact moving on grass tell y'all I, I i am not i am not thrilled with grass still no tokenomics still no talk of anything uh, the only announcement they've had in the last two weeks they issued this right before July 4th. Huge news for Grass Ecosystem. Network has just been used to open source 600 million Reddit posts and comments. What does this have to do with sharing my bandwidth on what this project is supposed to be about? I'm not, I'm not trying to completely downplay this. I'm sure somebody somewhere is going to tell me that this is, that this is, this is a great thing that way. I guess any progress for the sake of progress is progress, right? But it, it, it's not for what we were told that this project was for. But, you know, again, there's no tokenomics on it. You don't know if there's going to be a gazillion tokens released or 100 tokens released. Um, but with all the people who are out there who probably have millions and millions and millions of tokens, it's going to have to be a trillion dollar, trillion coin market cap. That's the only thing I can figure. But there's no team that's doxxed. You don't know nothing about the team or anything like that. Um, I still say don't put out now. I'm not even putting this on my home network anymore. Again, I always go back to Bit Harvest because on the Bit Harvest devices, if especially you have it at a remote location like I do, I'm running Grass on a Bit Harvest device because they're they're out there on its own IP. They're separate from my home network, and I'm running Grass on those. But that's all I'm running Grass on these days. That's about the only one of these data sharing type of projects I'm running on. So. With that, it's been a long Monday. We you know we had four or five days off of work and trying to catch up on everything, and it's just absolutely crazy. So I appreciate everybody who stayed this long on these videos. I know it just seems like a lot of rinse and repeat. We, we kind of keep mentioning the same thing about these projects. I'm sorry, but don't blame me. You know, I, I show you all a lot of times what's going on directly in the Discord just so I don't miss anything. And there's just no news. Now, that does not mean some of these projects ain't doing anything. Some of these projects behind the scenes are doing a lot of things. And some probably some probably ain't. So it's just wait and see. That's why we get in the projects early. You're taking the chance that, and I've said before, as you look at all these test net projects, it's possible some of these projects don't make it. Wouldn't be surprised if one or two don't make it, at least. But we never know. We'll see. But that's the chance you take. I tried to explain it to somebody on Facebook the other day who was complaining about something um, with the sword chain dev net issues. It's, hey, this is why we get early in the, we get involved in projects because you're going to be rewarded more for putting up with these test net type, of, type issues. That's the chance you take. With Natix, I'm happy with the fact that I'm, that I'm at $150, $160 right now worth of Natix for a, a project I didn't pay a dime to get into. Some people wanted $100,000 worth of Natix and are upset because they didn't get that. It's not going to make everybody happy. So, um, I don't know what else I got going on for the rest of the week. I know I got one or two videos I need to make. I have WingBits devices all over the place that I'm trying to keep up with. And my friend's devices is getting overwhelming. I'm not going to lie to you. It was nice to take four or five days off from all this crypto. Took a break from the um, Discord. YouTube, sorry, you know, I know some of y'all like to, you know, think that a YouTube person should be here every day, but let's be honest, we all need a break from each other. I'm sure y'all need a break from me. Got some more videos to make. Um, I got, you know, my device in Texas, I got to check on, make sure they didn't get blown away. Prayers for everybody who is in that path of Hurricane Barrel this morning. We didn't think it was going to be that much. Tropical storm, maybe Cat 1, some minor winds, and I'm, from the last, you know, from what I heard this morning, talking to to Fluffy, if y'all know, you know, remember Fluffy from my AMA, from Helium and Wing Bits and stuff like that. Fluffy was in direct line of sight in Houston. You know, we thought they'd be safe. I don't think we'll be playing Call of Duty tonight because he has no wind. I mean, no um, electricity, no internet, or anything like that. So, but again, all jokes aside, everybody's safe. So that's all that matters. But they have 80 plus mile an hour winds. There's nothing to laugh about. You know, this went right over Shreveport earlier. I was watching, and it's still producing some possible tornadoes. You see the circulation movements up in here. 
um it's 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 been a wild um been a wild morning so you know they definitely probably got some type of circulation right here that 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 they were looking at it might be something right here so god bless well, you definitely got something right here Woo. and you see that different orange color like that that's not good you know i'm looking at this live right now i'm just putting this on for y'all so god bless those people that are down there looking at all this and uh hopefully everybody gets everybody can get out of this all right so thank you all for watching and uh see you all next video whenever that might be i got a couple of money to do i don't know what i'm gonna do first but i'm also dropping a cooking video in my other channel i made something over the weekend and my family told me it's probably one of the best things i've ever made this is my first time i made it made it live well not live live in front of a camera i guess you could say and um I have to say i didn't make enough of it because we wiped it out and for my family to wipe anything out all together at one time for my kids to eat the same thing that we're eating and all of us to wipe it out and fight over it it was something so y'all check that video out when y'all get a chance um it probably won't be dropped until tomorrow tuesday but it will be on my other channel and i'm if i can remember i'll even drop a link here so thank you all for watching y'all have a great day